Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to another review from Roy's Reviews. And today we have a juice review for you. Well, three juices. And here are the three juices from Tea Juice Company. We have got Green Kelly, Red Astaire, and Bohemian Custardy. Now, all the bottles come in these lovely boxes. And in the box, you get the. Uh, yeah, it's done in here. You get the information leaflet. I'm not going to go over everything that's on there, but they have all the relevant information, all the relevant languages, and they actually even show you how to use it to take the lid off and how to use the ball. That's fantastic on that. On the boxes, because they are TPD com compliant, you've got the Green Kelly, you have the information on it, you have got the um, Product warnings. This seems to be um, the German one because it's in German. Um, 10 ml, and I've got them in the 3 milligram nicotine versions. You've also got the warnings down here, the 18 plus, and the warning on there. That side. And the boxes. The bottle itself is the Green Kelly again. It's got the nicotine warning on there again. It's in German. Sure, why I've got German ones, but I have. These were sent over to me for the purpose of view from Liquid Ice from Laura over Liquid Ice, so a big thumbs up to them. Um, there will be another two juices that I got as well, which are the coiled hooch ones, but they will be coming up after this. So, what we do is take these for a little blast. As you can see, I have been vaping them. Um, the, the liquids do come in sort of colours. Of what they are. I um, don't know how well the light is picking up on this. If I turn that around a bit further, you might be able to see that that is green. The red is there, is red, and the Bohemian custardy is a yellowy custard colour. Does it take away from the flavour? Mm, you'll have to see. So, for the purposes of today's review, now, where did I say that? <laughs> I have been vaping them all through this little device which the review has just gone up for, which is the IPV V3 Mini. Um, and for the purposes of today, I will be using the Unicorn Mark III with the Unicorn Dripper on top. So, enjoy the music, folks. I'll take Green Kelly for a blast. So what am I getting from this juice? I'm getting lemon and lime is predominantly the flavours I'm getting from this. Okay. It's like a can of Seven Up, um, not so much fizz in it. I don't know if there's meant to be a fizz in there, but I'm not getting a lot of fizz coming from it. Um, now there is a little hint, and I will say it is a little hint. I did think to start with maybe it was because I was using this. Um, was the flavour not just there but even on the unicorn the ra there is meant to be raspberry in this it's it's there but it's barely noticeable I probably would have liked it to be a little bit stronger um, because it's an interesting combination lemon and lime and raspberries um, it's not a candied sweet flavour this time um, I suppose the new sort of candy you can maybe get it to be the ranchers and the hard boiled ones but uh, I would like it a little bit to that but it's more of a fresh um, citrus flavour to it so I would give Green Kelly 7 out of 10 so the Green Kelly ok so next up folks we will take the 
Bohemian Custardy. Focus in. We'll take Bohemian Custardy for a little bit. So bear with me while I rewick and I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, so here we go, are back. I'm rewicked and ready to go, folks, with the Bohemian Custardy. That way round right, get the label round right. <laughs> you always want to sing. I saw a silhouette of a little man. But no, I can't sing. So, but it's just, that's what reminds me of Bohemian Custardy. Bohemian Rhapsody. So, again, sit back, enjoy the music from um, TJ, TJ, T, uh, TJG and the Cosmos. I can only get it right. And uh, I'll be back with you in a moment. Speed up, bit. Okay, what am I getting from this? Getting a custard, that's for sure. It definitely is a custard. It's a sweet custard, not um, a vanilla custard. I don't, don't, I wouldn't really pick it out as a vanilla custard, but it is a sweet custard. It would be a cross between a bird's powder custard and maybe an ambrosia custard. It's somewhere in the middle there. It is a nice custard. Um, I will be honest and say it's not the best custard I've ever had. Um, everybody that knows, watch my reviews, knows I've been spoiled by, by I'm not even going to mention it, by another custard. But in there, you're getting um, sweet berries. You're getting uh, strawberry and raspberry coming through there. And now they're, no, I wouldn't say they're ripe berries, or right, they're more of a, a candy berry that's coming through on it. So it's making it a little bit like a milkshake. Um, a custardy flavoured milkshake with strawberries and raspberries in there um, and other fruits you're getting it's quite hard to try and pin pinpoint any of the extra fruits that comes out there would it have been all day vape? yeah, because even though it's sweet it's not a sickly vape it is, the balance seems to have just been there for the custard uh, and the berries now I did manage to to get a, a test sample of this um, last year at Expo um, I never actually got around to reviewing it because the 10ml bottle is, is in uh, that I got then went before I even got home from Expo so that's why I didn't get a chance to review it even though it picked up as a, as a, as a free sample and again um, Liquid Ice presenting these across thank you, thank you for your email get in contact with me as well but what I give Bohemian Custardy? I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Definite Bohemian Custardy gets an 8 out of 10. So that just leaves my last on the T just range is the red Aster. So I'll get re wicked. I'll be back in a while. Okay, so back re wicked and all, and it's time for a red stare. Um, probably, I would have to say this is one of um, T Juice's most famous um, juices in the line. Um, most people have probably heard of red stare at some point, but I will have to admit it was my first time trying it whenever I had it through the IPV. But on the unicorn. Sit back, join the music in the least speedy up section. Back in a moment. Yeah. Or is it just a phase in your life? Do you really love me? Do you really miss? Will you stay in with me tonight? Don't go. Someone to hold you. 
Okay, aniseed heaven, folks. Yeah, it's aniseed heaven. Anybody that loves an aniseed vape, you will love this. Um, but don't think it's just all aniseed. There is menthol in there. There is eucalyptus in there. Now, I'm not picking out the menthol, and I know this is what's from what's in it. Um, the eucalyptus. Yeah, you do get a wee bit of a sense of that. Um, a little bit of tingly on there. But it makes sense of that. Some berries. Yeah, some berries. And it's it's very this the berry flavor is very subtle because the aniseed does tend to take over a little bit. But don't take me wrong, folks. I have tried a pure aniseed vape. Um, I didn't like it. Now, this it's a cross between an aniseed ball and the cinnamon lozenges that you used to get, because it's cinnamon. Because of the berries and everything else in there, I uh, racked them with the aniseed. It's making it into a little bit, bit of a cinnamon, cinnamon type, cinnamon and min 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 vape, um, which I actually do like. I was surprised um, when I initially first smelt it, and I get the aniseed smell coming through on it. I was like, whoa, I don't know about this, but yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, the taste you left in your mouth is is just like after you've had a cinnamon lozenger. It's subtle on the exhale whenever you're getting the berry flavours coming through to you. So, I'm actually going to be surprised. I'm going to give Red Astaire an 8 out of 10. And these juices haven't killed my coils, all three of them, even though they are quite sweet on it, apart from the Red Astaire. Not sweet cinnamon, um, but the Bohemian custardy and the green Kelly were quite sweet juices, but they didn't kill the coils on this. Now you can see the size of the on this. It's tiny. I can't take it off because it's you can't. It's fixed. You can't take it off. I can't show you the coil. But I've been using the juices through that, and I've been pumping them through it, um, and there's been no degradation of flavour. So, big thumbs up to me, and again, thank you to Liquid Ice for sending me the Just Open for the purposes of review. And folks, if you've liked my video, give me a wee thumbs up and drop me a wee comment down below. If the video hasn't been to your liking, give me a thumbs down, still drop me a wee comment down below, be much appreciated, so I know what I'm doing wrong. And it just remains me to say, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, thank you for watching the review, where... Oh, try again. Just remains me to say... Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this review. Take care now. Bye.